Hi, this is Vicki with My Paper Connection. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the United States, and today I'm going to make a beautiful card using prized peony. I already have a couple of cards that say my, my thoughts are with you, so today I'm going to use Happy Birthday from Peaceful Moments and make this into a birthday card. It is so pretty, and I'm going to show you how I did it. It's watercolored, and it was just so easy to do. So, without further ado, let's get started. For this card, I used Rococo Rose. For the card I'm making today, I'm actually going to use terracotta tile. I've inked up my stamp with stays on. And the reason why I did that is that I'm going to be using watercolor. Um, with watercolor, you always want to use stays on rather than memento. Um, because memento is a water base, and if you put um, watercolor on a water base, ink it's going to spread. Um, stays on is what you use whenever you're using watercolor or um, your stamp and write markers. All right so I've placed a little bit of the terracotta tile onto a block and I'm going to go ahead ahead of time <clears throat> get my water going and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of wet my flower just a little bit. I don't want it to be sopping wet. Then I'm going to come in with my ink and I'm just going to kind of go around the areas that I want to be a little darker like around the cluster and the base in the center. I want those areas to be a little bit darker than others. I think I got too much water going on here. Anywhere there's a fold or where the leaves are coming out at a cluster type situation, you want it to be a little bit darker. This is Stampin' Up's watercolor paper and it is designed to be able to take water. You don't really want to do an image this large with watercolor on uh, regular paper because it will bead up. I'm, I'm gonna let it dry for just a second and then I'll come back with the, um, to, to create a little bit, a few more accents. Come back in here with these darker colors. And if for some reason you go outside the line, just go with it. It's watercolor. It's Look, I got outside the line so I'm spreading it more. It's watercolor. It's supposed to be impressionistic. So if you accidentally do it, just go on with it. Okay, and the way you clean your brush is to just wipe it across your paper like that. All right. Now I'm going to bring in my old olive. I've got a different block because I, I will clean my other block later. And I'm just going to spread it around. I don't think I want it to be quite as heavy or wet as it was earlier. I'll just go in here. And I'm going to add in the, my colors. Again, because I messed up early and got a little bit outside the line, I'm going to let it be impressionistic. And I'm going to let it be outside the line. I'm going to embrace it. Um, when I first started doing stamping, I was such a perfectionist that if I got outside the line, if I did anything wrong, I would tear it up and start over again. And I'm learning it's art. It is art, and it's not supposed to necessarily be perfect, especially with watercolor. If you look at um, watercolor, like art that is done by like artists, <laughs> it's almost never perfect. It's almost never inside the line or whatever, and it's beautiful. So go with it. When you mess up, just go with it. So 
See, that one's a little too perfect now, so I need to kind of mess it up a little bit. Now I'm going to come back with my darker, and I'm just going to hit up these just as I would with an alcohol marker. I'm going to hit up the veins and the, the areas that are just kind of highlighted by the stamp. And if I need to blend it a little bit more, I will in a second. But first of all, I'm just going to bring in the darker. I'm going to give that a minute to dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to come back in. This time I'm going to use my Memento Black ink. And I'm going to stamp Happy Birthday that I got from my Peaceful Moments stamp set. I'm going to stamp it right there onto watercolor paper. Now, it did not have to necessarily be on watercolor paper, but because I wanted it to match this, that's why I, I did that. And I'm using my second to the smallest layering circle die, and I am going to go cut that out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've allowed this to dry a little bit. I'm going to come back in with um, black memento this time. And I'm going to just kind of put a few of these little things right around. I think I'll put it on this side this time. I'm just going to put a few of these little things right in here. Just because I want it to be kind of, um, I want it to surround the circle. All right, let's put our card together. You can see where I didn't get it very good the first time. I didn't show you that one. <laughs> good thing our paper is double-sided, right? It's double-sided for a reason, haha. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to place this on. Hmm. I think I'm going to put it on this one. On this side. Remember, I don't know if you remember me telling you on all my other videos, but you need when you're placing your paper down and you want to make sure that it's even, then you just check your corners. That was not even, and I did not check my corners, so let's do it again. Yep, that looks about right there. Okay, so now I'm just going to place this on top of my cardstock. Then I'm going to take some embellishments, not embellishments, dimensionals. <laughs> Put them right there on the back side. I'm going to place this right here in this corner, just kind of hanging off. But see, I wanted it to have. Um, some of that design behind it just like that okay and then what I did on the inside was I stamped some of that same design and then I just kind of watercolored a little bit down the side and I said wishing you every happiness this special day brings and here's my three cards I had made these two for class and um, this one is the one I made today and I think I probably need to go in and touch up the um, a little bit with a little bit darker in some areas in here but I really actually I really like the fact that I went outside the lines all over because I messed up the one I think it really makes it look a little bit more artistic and um, I don't mind that it's not inside the lines I really actually like it it's very pretty tell me what you think um, l let me tell you it's taken me a year and a half two years two years it's taken me two years to get to the place that I cannot be perfect and be okay with it. So, you know, um, not just okay with it, but celebrate it. I like this. And I like the changes in me that has come across as a result of me learning to stamp and becoming a part of a stamping community. I would love for you to be a part of my community and um, stamp with me as well. So if you would like more information about being a part of my stamping community, let me know. And um, in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, please do so and ring the bell so you can get noticed when you get when my future videos come out. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. That must be it, mean it's time for me to go. All right, thank you. Bye.